Hey guys, this is a video from my scientific calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get fraction answers on your KCO scientific calculator. The model I have here is a KCO FX 300 MS, but the feature should be the same on similar model calculators. Without further ado, let's get to it. If you look on the keypad, you'll notice a button that has A followed by a B over C. That is the fraction button. You can use that to type in improper fractions as well as mixed numbers. You can also use the button to convert between fractions and decimals. For example, if I type in 21 fraction button to it looks like this, 21, and this symbol acts as the fraction bar. So 21 over 2, and I press equals. Notice that the calculator returns a mixed number. And there are two fraction symbols in the answer, and the first one just acts to separate the whole number. So I have 10 and 1 half. If I wanted the decimal answer, I would simply press the fraction button one more time, and I'd get the decimal version. If I wanted the improper version of an answer, uh, improper fraction version of an answer, I would press shift and the fraction button and I get the improper fraction version. When you press shift, you're selecting uh, the D over C feature, which is the improper fraction feature. You don't need to press uh, the shift and this button when you're entering uh, improper fraction like I did here. You only need to press it if you want one of your answers to be converted to an improper fraction. Now let's say you now let's say uh, you want to simplify a fraction. You can do that using this feature also. For example, I'm going to clear this out. So let's say we wanted to uh, uh, simplify two fraction bar twelve. We know this simplifies down. So if I wanted to do it with the feature, I just enter it and then press equals, and automatically it simplifies it down to. Uh, the simplest fraction form. If I press the fraction button, it gives me the decimal and I can go back to the fraction version by pressing the fraction button one more time. Also, if I just type in a decimal that has a nice equivalent uh, fraction, uh, the calculator will convert the decimal to a fraction form. For example, if I type in uh, right now I have nothing on the screen, so if I type in 0 0.008, which looks like this, and I press equals, and then I press uh, the fraction button, I get 1 over 125, which is the fraction equivalent of the dec decimal. So that's a nice feature to use for fractions that have nice equivalent, uh, uh, for decimals that have a nice uh, equivalent fraction. Now that we know how to use the feature, let's actually do some calculations. When using the feature, I would recommend putting parentheses around individual fractions that are used in uh, operations just to keep things organized for yourself and to avoid any confusion because the calculator will only be able to do what you tell it to do. So let's add um, 112 plus 2 over 24. So fraction, uh, print, open parenthesis 1 fraction bar 12, close the parenthesis, and then add open parenthesis to fraction bar 24, and then close the parenthesis. So the entry looks like this, 1 over 12 plus 2 over 24, press equals, and I get the answer in the simplest fraction form. If I wanted the decimal, simply just press the fraction bar, the fraction button, and I get the decimal. Go back to the uh, decimal, I mean the fraction, using the same button. Now, uh, since we know how to do it just with fractions, let's do it with um, a mixed number. So, ex for example, let's add four and three fourth plus one twelve. So remember, I said. Uh, when there is a mixed number, there are two fraction symbols and the first one just acts to separate the whole numbers. So we're, go uh, we're going to open a parenthesis. 4 
fraction button 3, fraction button 4. So now I have 4 and 3 fourth. Close the parenthesis and now we're just going to open another parenthesis. Uh, we're going to add and then open a parenthesis 1, fraction bar 12, close the parenthesis and notice I have 4 and 3 fourth plus 1 over 12 and if I press equals it will return the answer as a mixed number so 4 and 5 sixths but if I want an improper fraction shift fraction button and I get the improper fraction version of it. There you have it that's how you get fraction answers on your KCO scientific calculator as always feel free to leave any questions or other comments in the comments section if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos. You can also follow my channel on Facebook and post questions there. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the scientific and graphing calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care guys.